Hello, I'm Jim Johnson. I'm the director of Greenfield Village and the curator of historic structures and landscapes here at the Henry Ford. And behind me is the future home of the vegetable building from the Detroit Central Market. The city of Detroit approved plans to construct this vegetable building in April of 1860. It desperately needed an improved public market in a central location to ensure that all Detroiters could access fresh vegetables, meats and fish, as well as eggs, honey, butter, and cheese. The architect, John Schaefer, designed an open-sided structure nearly the size of a modern football field. His design combined traditional timber framing for the roof structure and the relatively new technology of cast iron for the support. This rare example of a public market building is truly a survivor. After 30 years of service, city officials voted to close the market, and in 1894, it was moved to Belle Isle where it served many uses, including that of a riding stable. In 2003, with demolition imminent, the city of Detroit offered the structure to the Henry Ford, saving it from being destroyed. We continue to learn about the history of this amazing building. The Detroit City Council Minute Books not only provide amazing details about the process of constructing the building, but also specifics about all the vendors, including the hucksters who sold produce near the market either from their own wagon or from a handcart. City directories fill in the blanks about so many of the people who made their livelihoods at the Central Market by providing names and occupations of those who paid rent for stalls. These vendors sold directly to customers, a personal exchange that drew customers from inside and outside Detroit. Shutting down the Central Market, including the vegetable building at the end of 1893 season, was met with resistance. Some, including a well-known vendor, Mary Judge, remained vocal into early 1894 before the move to Belle Isle. Restoring the vegetable building and bringing the stories of the people that worked and shopped there adds the urban market experience to the many food stories told daily throughout the Henry Ford. Thank you for making this possible.